Shalom, Shalom. Man, this one is going to be titled, More Women Will Be Exposed in the Last Days and Publicly Shamed Because of Behavior and Conduct Like This. Man, you see the picture on the screen, and this is uh, Erica Mina pretty much out here half naked with a ladder about to scale this gate. Let's go ahead and roll this footage. It all started actually with... So before I get going any further, man, shout out to River TV for posting this footage and uh, I'll let you hear some of her initial commentary um, and she's going to hit it pretty much spot on. But, you know, oftentimes men spare women the shame because you have a kind heart. And meanwhile, on the opposing end, it's all out war and you are being slandered, your character is being attacked, and Safari, you know, her child's father, actually had those tapes the whole time. And I've talked about this before, because oftentimes, you know, people take the bait that it's always the man's fault, hook, line, and sinker. They always take the bait in the narrative that if a woman is acting like this, it's the man's fault. You know, he had to give her a reason uh, to act accordingly like this. But when the tables is turned, uh, people don't have that same kind of uh, conviction uh, to come to the aid of a man. And a lot of men have lost, you know, not only a lot of opportunities, a lot of jobs. A lot of men have been, uh, you know, have criminal records behind slander, false accusation. And this is why I say, man, men are going to bring out the tapes in the last days. We are in a daytime and hour of technology and a crazy woman in her emotions, not having emotional maturity. She doesn't think logically that, man, you're being recorded. There's always, uh, you know, somewhere, or somehow, shape, form or fashion, you are being recorded. And Safari is actually going to acknowledge that. You know, he tried to tried to go uh, as long as he could without putting out the tapes. But this is where we're at. A social media post that Erica had posted recently. And in this post, Erica Mena was re uh, you know, showing a calendar of when Safari had spent time with their children. And she basically said that he had only seen his children 16 times this year. Um, and so after that post was released, it kind of started like a little bit of her just, you know, going on and on again and again. And, you know, it's very common that she does this after he posts uh, something that's going on for him, right? So if he goes um, to an event, she'll post something. If he looks like he's having too much fun in life, she'll post something. Like anything that looks like he's being a little bit too happy without her, um, she's always going to bring up the fact that he was a quote unquote deadbeat dad. She just was on Sam Newton's show and she had this entire conversation talking about how horrible he was, how trashy as a parent he was. She talked about his mama in that video. And she. You know, so basically what River TV is giving account to is uh, she, uh, Safari's child's mother, has a body of work of slandering his name, trying to defame his character. And you have to think about it. When you are working in a field that he works in, nobody is going to want to work with you if you got all this drama around your name. And keep in mind, these people are entertainers. Secretly, secretly, I think they do a lot of this stuff to keep their name relevant. But they're just showing forth uh, he's just showing forth the stuff that actually goes on behind the scenes that a lot of men have experienced. And um, in her mind, she doesn't think that this is, is damaging or anything, even though she is purposely trying to damage 
you know, his name, his brand, what he stands for, what have you. Let's keep going. Hey, here, uh, you know, being in the military, being in the army, every Friday, man, I give a safety brief to my soldiers. And this is one of the things that I tell them. I tell them, man, you might have to, you might have to say some things that are super nice in a heated moment because you are not just going to be able to leave as a man. Even though people tell you just leave, you don't have to stay there. That is the most dumbest thing because this is what goes on behind the scenes. You get blocked, you get pushed, you get shoved. There is no exit. There is no exit. And if you don't see what the video says, it says, I'm on the phone with the police. So he's annotating, okay? I'm on the phone with the police because this woman is unhinged and it's crazy. Let's keep going. Mm, there you go. So you saw the jab and the push. I tell you, man, you need to... You need to, when the gloves come off and you are catching open-handed fist as a man, hey, you need to you need to realize that you are at war. Quit trying to spare these crazy women. Quit trying to spare them. You know, they'll put a restraining order on you. They'll do all this and put press charges and all of this and fabricate all kind of stuff just to slander your name. But release the tapes. It's time for men to, hey, to, to doggone do the same thing as far as putting restraining orders, press charges, make it to where even if they mention your name and it's not in a positive light, there's repercussions for it. Consequences and repercussions. And keep in mind, that was in front of the kids. So this is basically... Uh, where she is once she scaled the fence with that ladder. And we're going to take a deeper look at that. I don't even, I don't even know where to stop. So I'm going to let you listen to this. And then, you know, I have to reinforce again, quit trying to spare these crazy women. There is no amount of sex this is not love. This is not what it is. And you'll be sitting up here as a man saying, oh, I ain't going to do that. I can't do it. And, oh, man, you know, that's just the way she loves me. Yeah, it's a, that's a, uh, a wicked way to show love. Um, but I'm, I'm putting everything out there because <laughs> the fact that people... Even whether you know me or not, you still, there still has to be like a certain level of, of common sense when it comes to just being a judge of character. And this has nothing to do with TV at all. Now, he said it has nothing to do with TV. And I, I, I'm under no illusion at all that these people will try to get any publicity whether it be him or his child's mother, because they are entertainers. You know, nobody, no, your average person can't tell you when the last uh, Safari song came out. Nobody can tell you when the last Erica Mina song came out, the last movie Safari was in, the last uh, song Erica Mina or, mo uh, you know, movie she was in. So these people, a long time, they, 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 they keep this foolishness up and they don't mind putting it out there. But at the end of the day, kids are involved in this. You saw the kids in the background. That's what's crazy. These kids are getting shaped to be dysfunctional. And, uh, like this is, this is real life because kids are involved. And this deadbeat narrative, it's like... So when you think about that, man, people take the deadbeat narrative. The minute that's launched on a man, people take that hook, line, and sinker without no kind of proof. All they get in is tears and an emotional uh, uh, provoked story that sounds like it's truthful. But nobody ever says, what if, what, what if she's lying? And I've said it again, man. It, when, when, when a woman is doing this, 
she's going to tell everybody the part of the story that makes her look good and makes everybody else look bad. It's just, it's just so jarring to me. It, it does give me a headache sometimes, but then, you know, um, I'm pretty good at just brushing things off. But, you know, people who know me, and especially you know, my situation, <clears throat> they're like, yo, how long are you going to stay quiet? And I just, you know, I be, I be staring at people. Man, you heard it at the end. He said he be sparing people. And this is this is something I said I've said again in multiple videos. Men, this is why you have to live a life of righteousness and follow the Ruach HaKodesh. You know, be led of the spirit so you can discern. This is not a this is not a one day she woke up and got crazy. No, this is this is in the this is in her blood. This is in her DNA. And you got to think, man, men have constantly laid down with these crazy, reprobate, delusional, double minded women. And this is the outcome. So that's Erica Mena and the kids are in the car witnessing this foolishness. She ain't even looking back to see. She ain't even looking back to see if, if somebody was behind her. She just hit the gas. This is unhinged. And you know what? She's not the only one out there like this. She's not the only one like this. There's a man getting mushed in the side of his head, all kind of disrespect, and having a a, a slander campaign ran against him. Five o'clock in the morning, pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. You think she's a whole general contractor out here. Now here here's the bad part. I want you to think about this. This this is this crazy that you're witnessing is so crazy to where if she would have gotten hurt jumping off the top and landing on them little them little bitty ankles. You know what she would have done? She wouldn't have, she wouldn't have been truthful and said, "You know what?" Uh, I was actually scaling my child's father's house, uh, the gate at his house with a ladder and I fell. No, she's going to use that. Oh, this is bruise and domestic violence and all of that. All this foolishness. You can't make this stuff up. So now you see she's at the back door. This is crackhead activity. Banging on my windows. Like her, her own, her own family is is going after her for child support because she doesn't do anything to help her son. So then to try to make it seem like I'm some deadbeat and I'm not trying to be there for my kids. I'll so apparently she has an older son by somebody else that the parents are taking care of. And this is where I say it again: you chose to lay down with this type of crazy. You're not gonna escape. Uh, crazy, un un untouched. I could be there for my kids, but it would be nice for you to get out the way. Let, mm. me, Let me take my kids and go wherever I want with them. My kids are never in danger. They don't ever have to. Mm. Them. Man, that's a that's a very very common thing. You know, that's the the signs of a controlling woman. Gonna call you a deadbeat. But you only can take the kids as if these kids didn't come from your testes. The kids uh, are your seed and you planted it in the field of a woman. And all of a sudden they think they got all the control to be able to tell you that the kids is in danger and where you should and shouldn't take them. This is a lot of men deal with this. Just co-parenting. Man, men, if you've had to deal with this in co-parenting, man, drop a comment down below. You can't make this stuff up. But 
this is the kind of this is the kind of footage that when you are being slandered man let 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 some of this stuff get recorded and roll that beautiful bean footage and then when it's time to when it's time to go to court to get custody just roll that beautiful bean footage and you don't even need to say nothing the video speaks for itself after she didn't sit up and spewed all these lies and all of this foolishness about you this is why i say man you know some women need to be publicly shamed the way they were back in the biblical days brought in front of the city square this is not about money this is not about child support my kids love me <clears throat> little girl said i don't want to go to mommy's house this how it be this is how it is why do you think she don't want to go to mommy's house maybe dog on mama is an unhinged crackhead maybe that's what it is <laughs> and, and, and here's another one you have to think man you're trying to co-parent you're trying to move on with your life don't let you you talk about how dangerous it is for you to be entertaining somebody else and you got this doggone crackhead uh showing up scaling fences this is somebody that don't care about nothing tell you man ain't 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 ain't, ain't nobody worth all this Nobody. Shout out to River TV posting this footage. Look, you're going to have, like, you cannot, you can be a, a great communicator and say, hey, I'm not going to argue with you. We just ain't going to do this. That ain't good enough. She didn't hop in the car, done 85, found a ladder around your property, and scaled the dog on fence and say, no, nah, we're we, we going to talk about this. Mm. <laughs> Slap the man all up in the back of his head. You ain't about to leave. Where you going? Mm. And, and and you you think she's saying I love you? While she's pushing him? No. She's calling that man all kind of bees. And the kid's sitting there looking. So you gotta this right here, this right here is golden in court. Golden, golden. Because I guarantee you, oftentimes men know the repercussions that they face for conduct like this. It don't even take nothing remotely close to what she's doing for a man to get locked up. But women have been getting away with this stuff for a long time. This is this is woo. You talking about a a a, a cold case? Mm -mm. Everywhere you going, blocking. That's that right there is illegal. That right there. Hey, to any any of the women watching this, if a man is trying to leave, let him leave. Because if you block the doggone door in a lot of states, in majority of states, that right there is illegal. You got to think, man. She has an older son. That she doesn't have custody of. The family does. She ain't too far away from getting these kids taken away if this gets in the right hands. And I don't even feel bad for her. Little baby still walking around. There she go, throwing stuff. Any Now you saw the stuff she broke. And the pretty much the glass is all on the floor. Now pay attention. She don't care about these kids. She don't care about him. She don't care about these kids. This is in the DNA. There you go. Knocking all over. This is, oh man. <sighs> Come on. There's a lot of men going through this behind the scenes. 
and are trying to spare her. It's time to speak up. Look at her walking over this stuff. The kids walking through it. Look at them tiptoeing. Here she go. I ain't done yet. Hold on. What did I just say about me and my... <laughs> I can't make this part up. And this is why I say... Men, you have to discern. You have to discern. And this is a man that clearly doesn't have the gift of discernment. And he's got to listen to listen to this statement he's going to make. Mother, what did I just say to you? So you can't let him go, man. You just can't let him go. Exactly. He can't let her go. Man, this is one of them things where uh, he keeps it up. And he's going to be fighting for his life. He's going to be fighting for his life. Right now, he, 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 he getting a thrill out of this. And I don't see how, how folks get the thrill out of this. I don't even get it. I like my peace. And if my peace is, is in a rut, it's not even worth it having nobody. If my peace is going to be interrupted by foolishness. I'm telling you, man. Crazy, reprobate, delusional, double-minded, hypocritical women like this, unhinged, will be shamed and publicly exposed in the last days. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking it gun, barrel, straight.